Gospel on guys crazy game oh my goodness it's overtime 40.5 seconds left to go Spurs ball 101 to 100 heat up by one let me give you guys a glimpse here Barely got a piece of it, but good enough to make a difference. Alright, D Wade with the ball. Puts it up. No good. Alright, let's go. Six, five, foul. What? No foul? Are you kidding me? That was a bogus call. He got the arm. That was a foul. What? Oh, Joey, Cro Joey Crawford is the ref. That's why. Go figure. was a bogus no call okay that was a foul that was a clear foul by Ray Allen on Manu Ginobili I don't know why that that was not called but that was absurd now that might cost us first the uh, game sadly but you know NBA's rigged what can we say So, so 1.9 to go. Oh, what a block. Oh my goodness. I 
if you're saying is that a foul in the first 46 minutes, it absolutely is on that three-point shot. And Bosch taking a chance. You know, you want to contest the shot when you get that so close and taking a chance of a whistle. But it pays off for Miami. One of those defining games for the Heat to come back, force the overtime, and force a game seven. LeBron James with Doris. LeBron, you were down 10 to start the fourth, and things looked dire. At that point, what did you decide had to happen? Leave everything on the floor. If we're going to go down tonight, we're going to go down with me leaving every little bit of energy that I had on the floor and just trying to do it on both ends. I still made some critical plays uh, as far as bad plays, late in the, late in the floor, a couple turnovers, a couple mistakes. But I can live with those mistakes when I know I gave it my all tonight and uh, we we'll to see another day. On Thursday night, you'll have to win a game seven and the pressure inherent with that and the glare and the weight that always weighs on you, LeBron James. How do you manage all of that? I mean, if they said we need one game to win the NBA championship, how do you manage it? There's no way. You just try to go out there and just give it your all. You, you rely over everything that you've done over all course of the season. All your habits that you've built, you just leave it out on the floor. They're the two best teams in the league right now, and that's why uh, it's a game seven. So I'm just happy to be a part of it, Doris. It's been fun for us, LeBron. Uh, thank thank you. you so much. Ray Allen. Ray Allen, you trailed by five with only 30 seconds to go, and you had to make some plays. You're on the floor. It's just going down the wire with so little time on the clock. What are you thinking? There's, until the clock runs out, we still have an opportunity here to win this game. And, um, you know, we've been a resilient bunch all year. And, you know, LeBron's attacking. You know, we're, we don't have great offense going, but we know that we still have a shot. So I just get my head in and, you know, that ball bounces in weird ways at the end of the games, and we got a great bounce. What things did you show in the stand to get it to overtime and winning this game that will help you win a game seven here at home? We talked about the small things, uh, not taking possession off. And uh, tonight in the second quarter, we did, we took fewer and fewer possessions off. We got to do that for 48 minutes now. And we know we're playing one game, and that's it. We got to go out here and do our best and leave it all out on the floor. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Mike. All right, Doris. We're going to winners tonight in Miami. But the NBA fans, winners as well, as they'll get a game seven as we go. Going up on Thursday night, right back here in Miami. This compelling series, they continue to alternate wins. No one can win two in a row. The Heat will try and do it to win a championship. The Spurs will try and bounce back and win another title. Final score in overtime, the Heat 103, the Spurs 100. For Jeff Van Gundy, Doris Burke, Steve Javley, producer Tim Corrigan, director Jimmy Moore, and our entire outstanding crew, Mike Green saying thanks for watching ABC home of the NBA Finals. A season comes down to this. Can the Spurs core add to their legacy? Will LeBron and the Heat go back to back? The culmination of a championship journey. Game 7 of the NBA Finals, Thursday night. Alright. Uh, that was it for that. What a game. I mean, <sighs> got a lot to talk about here. Let me get my camera back up, guys. Oh, where to begin? First off, the Miami Heat, oh, Ray Allen the biggest thank you of their lives for that clutch three-pointer that he made with about five five point two seconds left to go in the fourth quarter when the Spurs were up 95 to 92 Ray Allen hits that clutch three off of a Chris Bosh pass to tie the game at 95 and to force OT had that shot not have gone in the Spurs would have most likely had the championship won all right. Oh my goodness, Walter Ray Allen. That was, if not his most clutch three 
made in his entire career, his entire 17 year career from 1996 till 2013. That's got to be his most clutch three pointer ever made. No question about that. Anyways, let's just go over the game here. At the end of the third quarter, the Spurs were up by 10 points, 75 to 65. Um, with 10.28 to go in the fourth quarter, Mike Miller hits a three with one shoe, okay, to, to make it a 77-73 Spurs lead. That was an incredible um, shot he made. I mean, come on. The guy was on one shoe? Um, let's see here. Um, give me one sec, guys. What else here? Uh, yeah, Ray Allen's most clutch three made of his career to tie the game with 5.2 seconds to go. Um, oh, there we go. Ray Allen made a nine points on one out of three from downtown, which is a 33% shooting, and two out of two from the charity stripe. Um, LeBron, we all thought that, you know, they were gonna choke in the fourth quarter, well not all of us, but a good portion of us, including myself as well, you know, but um, LeBron came out firing in the fourth quarter. If you guys recall, a very notable moment was that LeBron, about halfway towards the fourth quarter, he took off his headband, and some say that, oh, LeBron went Super Saiyan, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh man, um, let's see here, LeBron in the first three quarters was three out of 12 from the field to give him 14 points. He also had a seven assists and in the fourth quarter he had 16 points on seven of 10 shooting from the field which is 70%. Uh, Pretty darn good. Which by the way, um, his 16 points in the fourth quarter was his uh, NBA Finals career high for most points made in a quarter. All right. Now LeBron's total stats, uh, 32 points on 11 of 26 shooting, which is 42%, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists. All right, that was his fourth triple-double in, in his NBA Finals, okay, which is pretty good. Um, what to make of this game? You know, I promise you, I say this with zero intention to hate on the Heat whatsoever, because the Heat had no control over this. It was the refs, primarily Joey, Craw Joey Crawford, um, the outside official, you know, tell me that was not a foul from Ray Allen on Manu Ginobili. I mean, come on, the guy got his arm, that was a clear foul, why did you not, why did they not make that call? I suppose Davis Stern and the NBA want the Heat to win, or at least the Heat to force a game seven, you know? But that's just my take on it. And no, I'm not saying that because I like the Spurs or I want the Heat to lose. No, again, guys, I don't care who wins or loses, okay? I'm a Chicago Bulls fan till I die, okay? Six rings, Bulls fan, till I die, okay? Promise you that. What else here? Um. Uh, I mean, great win by the Heat, don't get me wrong, but it could not have been done without the help of some controversial calls, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I say it with zero intention to hate, okay? And um, by the way, LeBron also had his second game of this NBA Finals with 30-plus um, points, okay? Because obviously he had 32 tonight. And um, Game 7 at South Beach, that's going to be on Thursday the 20th, okay. Um, looks like the Heat have the momentum going home for Game 7. Do I still think the Heat are going to win? Yeah, because I predicted the Heat to win in 7 games before the series even began. And Kawhi Leonard, I mean, had he made those two free throws they could have most likely won the game in ot i mean in in the uh, fourth quarter and uh, and i'm not guaranteeing that but most likely okay that's just my take on it 
Let me know what you guys thought of tonight's game. Um, comments and everything, let me know in the box. And I will gladly get to you guys soon, alright? May the best team win.